What's up everybody? So the other day I did a video talking about how I was surprised by the amount of people that think Convicting a Murderer is a series that was created and developed by Candace Owens. It's not. It was a series that was created and developed by Sean Reck and his team. And when the Daily Wire bought the rights to Convicting a Murderer, they just inserted Candace Owens into the project and they went back and filmed a bunch of stuff and then inserted that footage into what Sean Reck and his team already created. Convicting a Murderer was done years before The Daily Wire or Candace Owens was attached to the project. Now, I've been talking about this quite a bit online because a lot of people still keep asking the question about Candace Owens' involvement in Convicting a Murderer, how it came to be and things like that. I get asked that question multiple times a day, whether it be on Twitter or YouTube. Now, the other thing I talk about a lot is how convicting a murderer, how I enjoy the story that is convicting a murderer, that it's very good storytelling, and how how it's put together, how it's produced, and all of that stuff. I really enjoy the, the product. Content aside, I do enjoy how the product was put together. But one of the things I said in that sentence was I enjoy the storytelling. And a lot of people from the convicting a murderer side of things always like to get at me when I talk about how it's a story, about how they're just doing the same thing making a murderer did, telling their narrative of their story. Just like making a murderer told their narrative of their story. Every documentary that's ever been put out Whoever created it has a vision and a story they want to tell within that documentary. That's the whole point of a documentary, is the person behind it feels passionate about a subject and wants to tell their version of how, see, of how they see that particular topic or subject. But a lot of people like to get at me for using the word storytelling. Well, the creator, the director, the driving force behind convicting a murderer, Sean Reck, tweeted this to me yesterday, 23 hours ago to be exact. He stated, Candace Owens has been involved in the storytelling of convicting a murderer. They didn't just buy it, like I have talked about a million times about how Daily Wire bought it and inserted Candace Owens. They made changes to fit their brand. How do you make changes to a documentary that you claim is telling the truth of which is what you claim making a murderer didn't? There wouldn't be any changes you could make other than airing the full clip that making a murderer allegedly left out or airing the full document or whatever it may be that Making a Murderer allegedly left out, airing the full pieces that you say Making a Murderer left out. Other than those changes, what other changes could Candace Owens and Daily Wire possibly make in order to make their documentary more truthful? Are they making changes to just, like he said, fit their brand? drive their narrative even harder, whether it's true or false? It definitely sounds like it or seems like it. A bunch of people commented with similar responses to Sean Reck when he wrote that. They have not yet, he has not yet responded to that. I responded to him by saying, I would love to see some sort of unedited edition to see the vision he wanted to bring forth. Not the version that was changed by Candace Owens and Daily Wire. I find it strange about halfway through the Convicting a Murderer series, he's saying that there was changes made to it. Do you think maybe he doesn't like the product that is being put out there and is subtly in his own way coming out and stating that? Like I said to him, I wanted to see an unedited version, the version that he wanted to originally put out that didn't have Candace Owens attached. See, Sean Reck was having a hard time finding a buyer 
for convicting a murderer. So when the Daily Wire came along, he probably allowed them to do anything they wanted to do to it so that he could recoup the money he spent making convicting a murderer. I asked him, uh, perhaps a special edition DVD because I still collect physical media, or does the Daily Wire own all of the rights now or for just a few years? See, a lot of times a streaming service or a platform will only buy the rights to air it for a year or two years or whatever the case may be. And then the creator gets the rights back to his project. I don't know what the situation is with convicting a murderer and Daily Wire, but I hope that Sean Reck is able to retain the rights to this at some point in time and releases the version as possibly a made-to-order DVD series that he is able to put out and show the people the version he wanted to get out there. So there it is, folks. The creator of Convicting a Murderer fully states that Candace Owens has been involved in the storytelling of Convicting a Murderer. They just didn't buy it. They made changes to fit their brand. What do you think? Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you again soon.